find Pascal. And that's Dylan over there. Yes, quite. And our friend Nancy Drew's robot puppy is simply smashing. Oh, dear. <laughs> and a fine day to you too, old bean. Dylan, you don't have to talk like that just because we traveled back in time. Oh, Poppycock, we got these marvelous outfits when we use this calculator time machine to get here. Why not get new words to say as well? Tea and crumpets. But when we were in 1962, looking at human computers, we didn't get any outfits. Plus, no one talks like that. <laughs> Odd fish, old chap. Right then, what's all this business about a lady with a lamp? You mean from this 1854 newspaper, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I've heard of that nickname before. Who is she? Let's investigate. Well, let's look at the clues here. She was born in Florence, Italy on May 12th, 1820, almost 200 years ago. She grew up in England where her father taught her all kinds of things like languages, history, math and science. Math and science were her favorite. When she was 17, she believed she was called by God to go into service as a nurse which her family really didn't like. But nothing would stop her, and eventually she went to school to study nursing. In 1853, she became the superintendent of a women's hospital in London. Wow, that's great. Yes, good show. But how did she get the nickname of Lady with the Lamp? And why would her family not want her to become a nurse? By Jove, nursing is a wonderful profession, yes. Well, back then, it wasn't quite so wonderful. Many hospitals at the time were not very clean or great places to be. So many of the nurses weren't motivated to do a good job or to stay for very long. In 1854, this lady was asked to choose a team of nurses and go work in Scutari, Turkey to treat wounded soldiers. When she got there, she discovered that the hospital there was much worse than many of the ones back in England. In fact, a lot of the soldiers that ended up there did not get better. She quickly got to work cleaning and fixing things up and with a few big changes, the soldiers' health rapidly improved. She took good care of the soldiers and was very compassionate towards them. For instance, at night, she would take a lamp and go around checking on all the soldiers, which is how she earned her nickname of the Lady with the Lamp. Splendid, splendid. So when did more hospitals start making the same kinds of changes? Most of them aren't like that anymore. It took a little time, but she had a plan. With statistician William Farr and John Sutherland, she collected hospital data, organized it, and searched for patterns. In math, this is known as statistics. She wanted to know why so many soldiers didn't get better. She soon discovered the biggest reason was that the hospital conditions made them really sick. So, knowing this, she took all of the data and used it to make a rose diagram, which is kind of like a pie chart. This made it easier for others to understand what was going on. When people in England saw the rose diagram and her findings, they were shocked and they immediately worked to make things better at hospitals for soldiers. Throughout her life, this lady with the lamp worked constantly using hard work and statistics to improve nursing and hospital conditions. And she's a huge reason for why they're the way they are today. So what's next? After some investigating, it looks like the name of the lady with the lamp was... Florence Nightingale. Wow! We did it! Way to go, super coders! Let's recap. Florence Nightingale believed she was called to go into nursing. She used her nursing skills, hard work, and statistics to improve hospital conditions. Which helped make nursing and hospitals today a lot better. I say, that is truly superb! And this is not. But this is... Yay! Yay! Robot Puppy! Oh, wow, so this is I'm great! So we finally made it back! Forever. Wait, Robot Puppy, did you bring us back home? <laughs> what? How? It looked like we ended up in the middle of the ocean or something. Hey, actually, that makes me think of a question. So at night, Florence Nightingale brought a lamp with her so she could tell where she was going. But what if you were out in, say, the middle of the ocean? How could you tell where you were going? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Want to help Nancy Drew and Robot Puppy and become a super coder? Head over to the Apple, Google Play, and Amazon App Stores and find out more today.